Hello, what's up guys? So guy prompts you once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to open Fintiba Block account. So if you're ready for this video, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. So if this is the first time you are seeing me, my name is Promzi. I'm a Ghanaian based in Germany, currently pursuing my master's. And on my channel, mostly I give tips to international students who want to come to Germany and pursue their master's. So if you like content like this, then you should definitely consider subscribing to the channel and joining the community so if you've been following the channel for a long time then you've most probably heard numerous times about blocked account fintiba block account because that's a service a lot of international students use when coming to study in germany so like i said before in today's video i'm taking you through the step-by-step -step process of opening a block account with fintiba so let's just dive straight into it Okay, so this is how the website looks like. I'm going to put the link in the description below. You can tell that it doesn't take more than 10 minutes. It takes less than 10 minutes to create a block account. And they also provide other services like health insurance and stuff. But for the purpose of this video, we are going to focus on the basic block account. As in, we're not going to patronize other packages that they use. So you go to solutions and you select blocked account. It takes you to this page and you click on open account now so this is how it looks like so in the first page is about your personal data you go on and select mr or mrs if you're a guy you're a mr you provide your first name and your surname as shown in your passport it's very important that the information you put here corresponds to the information that is in your passport if you've changed your surname before because of marriage, you provide it and let them know. And you select your date of birth. This one too is important as shown in the passport because if you make some mistakes, it might affect some stuff. So you select your date of birth and you come and select the city of birth so for this person he's he was born in accra ghana you select your nationality which is ghana and if you have second nationality you select that as well and you select your marital status here you select the reason for the block account is it for job seeking visa is it for working but for this case it's for studies so you select studies and you continue so visa details you select when you want to arrive in germany and like i said they do have other packages but for this video you're only focusing on the normal block account so we select no for the health insurance and you click continue this is the u.s tax status if you have a green card or if you have some form of tax payable stuff with the united states you will click according to accordingly but for this guy he has not been to the years he doesn't have anything linked with the united states so the answers are no and no you provide your email address this is very very important all the other form of contact will be done through your email address so make sure your email address is entered correctly you provide your telephone number as well and it asks if you have a voucher code i'm going to put my code in the description below and i think if you use my code you both get 15 euros so this is the code i'll put it in the description as well and you create a password here so after creating the password you come and read your terms and conditions make sure you select all of them and you simply click on open account so you've seen that opening a block account is not a very difficult task you just fill in the form and provide the correct information most importantly as shown in your passport so after opening the block account as in after clicking open the block account you get a link from fintiba which asks you to activate your account 
So after activation, you provide other information like your passport number and you inform them when you get the visa. And once you get to Germany, you have to fill in your contact details and link the account to your mobile device since they have an app through which you can also control your blog account. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. I hope you find this video very educative and informative. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and put a nice comment in the comment section. Like always, the name is Promzi and I'm signing out. Peace.